Hi. Today's episode is brought to you by our good friend and sponsor, Brian Miller, over at United Real Estate Chicago, the only realtor John and I trust when buying or selling a home. Links in the description below. Are you thinking about buying or selling a home? Or maybe you just have questions about the real estate market. Hi, I'm Brian Miller, and I'm a licensed real estate professional serving the Chicagoland area. People know to call me when they need a problem solved. Through research, troubleshooting, and asking the right questions, there isn't an issue that we can't overcome together. If you're buying, I'll help you find the home that fits your wants and needs. If you're ready to sell, my goal is to get your home in front of the masses and do everything it takes to net you the most money. Since entering the industry in 2014, I've experienced navigating various types of markets, as well as assisting clients with short sales, probates, and selling homes that have been sitting on the market. In other words, if you want to work with an award-winning real estate agent, make the process as easy and stress-free as possible, you've come to the right place. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm Brian Miller, and I can't wait to connect with you. Hey, welcome to IMO, In My Opinion with j and Buddy. Am I muted? Yes. You oh, are muted. wow. Look at that. You, See? you fucking I'm, remembered. Wow. I'm learning. I'm learning after yeah. a couple of years of doing this shit. I felt like we haven't done one of these in a long time. We haven't. It's been almost a little bit more than a month. How was your... Uh, did we talk about Christmas with <laughs> with uh, Brian and Joey? No, right? It was before Christmas. Christmas. What are you talking about? It was before Christmas. Oh, yeah. Right? That was Christmas? before Christmas. So how was your Christmas? Was it good? It was all right. It was all right. I got a Mariah Carey doll for some odd reason. Oh, that's a great I don't know gift, what the fuck man. Was that all about? That was an awesome gift. May have masturbated. That. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> You're a sick man. Um, so we got a guest today, a uh, special guest. He's a uh, uh, an artist, uh, up and coming actor as well. Um, I met him a long time ago when we used to go to the export and, and play ball all the time. Um, I'll let him introduce himself. Hold on, let me make sure you are muted. Yeah, That's yeah, a, yeah, there yeah, there yeah, we go. go. I, th- I thought, I, yeah, no, thought I did all of them except four. I'm sorry. I right. okay, had to yeah, turn yeah. on four. I'm sorry. Uh, Juno lost cause. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, it, it was it was cool. It is like I I kept running into you in like every gym. And, yeah, um, this is an export at the Brickyard. Then the, you working at the one in on yeah, Central. Yeah, yeah. I was I was a trainer uh, for a while, and then and then I, I then you told me you were act, and then. We did the video. It yeah, was, it was yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah it was video, cool. Yeah. It was cool. Man, so how you been, man? It's been a while. Man, I've been good. You know, just 2023s is uh, it started off pretty, pretty good. So awesome. I can't complain, man. It's, so, it's, so you're a, you're an artist, music artist, right? First, yeah, mu- music artist first. You know, um, I'm just starting to 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 fuck with the acting shit, but you know, I, I I'm learning really quickly that it's not as easy as it looks. Oh hell no. You know, it's definitely it, it's, 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 it's actually a skill. Like, oh yeah, like yeah. You, you can't just go in there and be like, "I want to act." Yeah. Like, no, I think that was the um, case. John would do it. Yeah, and, <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot of girls I know that that. Uh, are, no, not just girls. There's guys and girls that that you know they try it and and um, it's it's just it's it's a skill. You have to practice that. You know, you can't just go in there and be like, "I'm gonna act." Like I when I I did a two episodes of Power and. And yeah, man, it was, <laughs> I learned quickly that it's not the same as being a performer on a, you know, because as an artist, we we have to transform on stage. We have right. to be like, all right, well, I'm having a bad day, but I'm going to go up there and, and I'm going to hit the switch and turn into this super saiyan and be who they want me to be. But when you're an actor, man, you got to be on point, man. No, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of pressure. I, I, I ran, I, I learned that, well... I don't want to say I learned it fast because I um, I baby stepped my way. Yeah, like I really wanted to see it first. I mean, I took classes and then I did a lot of extra work and just to get exposed to it, and then found an agent and then started getting roles. Mm. Um, but you learn really quickly that it's um, yeah. you have to be on point because they're not waiting for you. Yeah, no, like I, you, I, you, I, no, <laughs> I know that. Yo, I was I was fucking nervous, man. Like, um. I can't even I can't even talk about the scene, but I was fucking nervous and I was a newbie, you know, so I'm in there and, and 
they're just going. And I'm like, like, I was supposed to know what to do. You know, and I'm and like, that's the preparation. Yeah, that. that's the preparation. That's the understanding of yeah, the, of the yeah, material so, and all so, that. Yeah. Um, but let, let's start with music. We'll we'll get into acting a little down, okay. a little down. Um, have you always had this talent of writing and all that, or um, develop it, or? Um, man, honestly, I'm one of those. I'm one of those artists that I never wanted to be a musician. Like I just, it was just a gift that I had. Um, I always, I never looked at artists on TV and said, I want to be that. It kind of just followed me everywhere I went. I started writing poems and then, um, my, I used to, you know, write, I used to write poems and then my friends used to be like, man, you should rap. And I'm like, I'm no rapper dog. Like I'm, you know, and then I tried it one day and it just, I just was really good at it. And then I just kept getting better and better. And, and before you know it, here I am, you know what I'm saying? Like. And every time, every time I try to get away from it, it just follows me everywhere I go. And it's just, it's just something that I had to accept that it's going to be, that I'm, I'm meant for this, you know? Awesome. So what's the, what's the challenge for you in, in rap? Like what's your, um, I don't want to say Achilles heel, but like, what's the, like the one thing that like you struggle with, like not struggle with, but it's challenging. Like um, I need to beat this. <clears throat> I need to do this. Yeah. I need to it's, do this. it's the, uh, the social anxiety, um, I'm and people, you know, people not understanding that we're human too. You know what I'm saying? Like just the social anxiety, just like I have anxiety like everybody else. I have my days where I don't want to be around people. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just want to be in my little, you know, in the cup. God never likes to be. That around sounds people. like me from like <laughs> 18 to 28, right there. That was me. <laughs> this dude, this dude, if it doesn't have a drive-through, he's not going. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Let's put no, no, no. There's a difference. You go to the gym, right? This motherfucker wants to go to the gym for like three hours. And when we would go, we would go, I would lift weights and then I'd join him to play basketball mm-hmm. for about another 45 minutes to like an hour and a half mm-hmm. or something. And then he wants to go out to eat. I'm all fucking yeah, yeah. sweaty no, and I, nasty. I, I understand. Mean, on, like, like there's, there's like, you get peopled out. Like, you get like. A certain amount of human interaction per day. Like once, once I, I'm I'm checked out, I'm like, right, I don't want to see nobody else. Today. Yeah, but plus he wants to go to restaurants where you got a oh, tip. See, I don't no, want to tip nobody. <laughs> Fuck you, give me my food. I paid for my food. Give me my food. And let's get the fuck out of here. You and Scotty got things in common, huh? You Who's and Scotty Pippen. Oh, Scotty Pippen got things in common. Dude. Um, no nah, man, this dude, I I kid you not. He yeah. was. I mean, he was a very anti-social dude. I'm. I'm. He's very out of his uh, shell now. He's yeah. grown up. He's grown up. Yeah. I'm proud of him. Yeah. Um, so you also, you know, you're in pretty good shape, man. Though. Yeah. Tell me about your gym, your gym regimen. Pretty man. sure John will be <clears throat> curious about that. Yeah, yeah, no. I see him all the time over there. Yeah. I just, I, as far as the gyms, like, I just, I do it more for like, um, it's, it's, uh, it's good for mental health. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, most of the things that I do is, is all for my mental health. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm not, I, I honestly have like mental health. Yeah, I know I have mental health problems, but you know, I was in the military and all that. So a lot of the things that I do, gym, music, it, it all helps me. Um, it helps me get centered. It help, it centers me. So yeah, when I go to the gym, I usually go, go in there to, um, you know, you gotta be careful what you put in your body now. You know, the older you get, it gets worse. So you gotta like really like, um, you got to detox, fasting, you know, stuff like that. Because Those are foreign words to me. Yeah, yeah, fasting, yeah. Fasting, what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's, not, it's not like a three Dying. days. It's what like fucking fuck? gold. Man, horrible. You know, like, it's, 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 it's torture sometimes, but it's just, it's good for you. Let me ask yeah. you a question. Since you're, you're, in, you're in the music industry, yeah. and, I, and I follow you, I, I, I see what you do, right? Um, how much of that look is part of the show um you get what i'm saying yeah marketing uh yeah marketing um because i mean let's let's be like, real right you're mar- yeah, we're marketing I, I keep, we, market, we, mar- we, we market to women right yeah, that's what we yeah. do right? as, as men yeah. right and, and um, per se right we want to look good for the ladies right? Right. Right. Sure. yeah everything everything's marketing everything's like i rebranded myself a few times already you know what i'm saying like it's, it's just it's just something that i understand is it's probably the biggest you know well nowadays there's no rules in music like you can see but I, in, for me, for my brand, the way I look is is um is definitely important. You know what I'm saying? I brand, I, I'm marking myself to women. You know, 
Um, I'd rather have a arena full of women that are singing my music. You know, That's fair. I, yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> you know, wrong but no, it's important. Like the the working out, the tattoos, everything, everything is part of of branding. The hair, every just everything, everything. Go ahead, you John. Know? You're gonna say something stupid about the hair. Go ahead, because I don't have hair. Go ahead, say it. <laughs> no, 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 it's all right. The, the you reason, got a beard. You got on, a beard, hold bro. On. The reason I say it, the only reason I say it, is because I'm at, I'm in this space, right? Where like, I mean, I'm 36, mm-hmm. right? Fuck. I'm starting <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to realize that I'm not as my, my old nickname doesn't really fly with me anymore. The whole Flacco thing doesn't fly with yeah, me anymore. Yeah. Um and then I look into acting, because that's what I'm into, right? Mm-hmm. And I look at my competition, right? Cause I look at everything kind of in a competitive way. Not personally yeah. competition, but like, okay, this guy, what does this guy have? Why'd they pick him? Why didn't they pick me? Oh, you know, okay. so like right. okay, did he have a better physique than I did? Mm-hmm. Did he fit the role better because of that physique? Probably. And I'm like Okay, maybe I might have to start hitting the gym. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. But then again, then again, my favorite actor was never really in shape. So Yeah. That's, okay. That's yeah, how, that I be? see where you're going the with it. Yeah. The guy on the wall. The guy on the wall over there. He's yeah. awesome. He's never I d- really I definitely been. see where you're going with that. Like like it's yeah. Would it benefit me? Probably. Maybe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's it kind of separates, you know. It'll separate like me, it just I feel like it separates me. Like But then I then I look at it I look at it two ways though, because I look at it like there is appearance, right? And you can look at you can look a certain way, but then the look doesn't overthrow the talent. Yeah, right. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like someone like uh, yeah. uh who's that guy? Uh, let's say Jack Black, for example. Right? Jack Black's not in shape. Great actor though. Mm-hmm. Right? Like mm-hmm. you're not gonna you're even if I was built like Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's not taking a role from Jack Black. No, Jack Black no. is a hell of better actor. No, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think my only Gray area is like I'm gonna let my I, talent overthrow I, I, my. I, de- I definitely I, I get that too. Like like uh, that's another thing about marketing is is something that I've I worked on throughout the years is um, making the look match the music. You know what I'm saying? Like hey, that's fair. Um, if if I'm, it's, it's up, you know my a lot of some of my old videos they used to throw people off. Like what the fuck this motherfucker singing? Hey, he swole his ear. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like he looks scary. Like why is he singing? Why is he singing? Like but but it was one of those things where it was like like, hey bro, you'll get it later. You know what I'm saying? I had to develop. I had to evolve as an artist, and I there's a lot of things that I learned, bro. Like when it comes to marketing, and and now now I'm at the point, bro, where I just don't care, man. Because I I've I've been co-signed by some of the greatest legends that I, I just I looked up to as a, as as a you know coming up. So oh. I don't need any validation. I know that I'm good, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So so uh, what were some of the inspirational, like you, you just mentioned some mm-hmm. like artists. What was what, what are some artists that like inspired you um, on the way up? I mean, as a shorty, I, I got, I got to say like my favorite artist growing up was Eminem. Oh, I like that. That's a good choice. That's a good pick. Yeah. That was, that was my, <laughs> That, that, was no, my, no, that was my favorite like artist growing up. Do I listen to him now? I can't say I listen to him now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I'm gonna be honest, yeah, I'm an Eminem fan, but I don't listen to him anymore. Um, I kind of. I think yeah. he's an acquired taste. Yeah, I love yeah, Eminem. Yeah, yeah. I love Eminem, but yeah, I, I like yeah. storytelling. It, yeah, I think it, he's a storyteller. Like yep. he's a super storyteller. But it's if funny. I if I want to say influential wise, like that's my number one influence growing up. That's it. But you know, from pop music to like. Ooh, he was more pop back no, then. He was not. His songs were more pop. He was just on drugs. Yeah, it was. <laughs> he was. My just name on drugs. is. He was to on go drugs. From that to what he is now, that's a big difference. That's drugs. That's huh? a, that's getting <laughs> off drugs. <laughs> he said it's All right, crazy. dude. He was on. He, he was, didn't care. Yeah, dude, he was crazy when he was young. But he was on drugs. That's fine. Now, now that's he's fine. more. Now I feel like his mentality is more focused. Like I, I mean, I don't know. I, I love I love it. Whenever he comes out with something new, I, I'll listen to it just because I like to sit down and like yeah, me too. Break down all the double meanings yeah. and all this bullshit. Like he's a fucking William Shakespeare. Mm-hmm. He could tell you a story 
which yeah. I think is a talent. But then yeah. there's obviously there's other different types of rap and there's other yeah. different types of entertainment. Like it's just his replay value is not as, right as uh, agreed. Like I'll listen to it once or twice and be like, all right, I'm I'm checked out. Agreed. You know? I, I think you'll never find Eminem playing in the club. Yeah, and I think that's kind of where the whereas problem is. early Eminem, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, you get one song of Eminem yeah, in the club, like, maybe like smack that the way. Yeah, I yeah, am. yeah, maybe <laughs> one or two. That's about the it. But I like am. his bangers were never in the club. And you never heard Stan in the club? No. No. That was well, his, well, well, what the fuck? That's his, but that's his greatest. That's his a greatest motherfucking selling. emo club, a goth Dude, club. But that was his maybe. greatest selling song yeah. of all time. He won like a bunch of Emmys for that of shit. Of course, they're not gonna play that in the club. Either way, that's my my point is he's he's a unique taste. Mm -hmm. He's not like Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny, you hear him all the time. You go to the club. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. There's different types of artists. So who else besides Eminem? Um, you do a little bit of that Spanish thing too, right? Yeah, I like I like. Um, Obviously, I like Bad Bunny. I listen. I'm. I've been listening to. He's clever. I think Bad Bunny's pretty clever. I've been listening to Raúl Alejandro. Okay. I said that shit white as hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, John will, co John will cover. Raúl Raúl Alejandro. There you, you go. Know what there I'm saying? you go. But um, I've been listening to. I've been. I've been really um getting into that that lane because you know, I mean, I, I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican, but but like uh, my. I've been I've been practicing more on my Spanish because like I, I growing up my mom my mom don't speak English she speaks me in Spanish I understand I I speak it back to her but you know there's a it's it's a little broken it, I grew up with a little broken uh the Chicago you know the Chicago the, yeah. the hood the hood Spanish that's fair yeah the fucking John knows about that his yeah. Spanish oh yeah yeah the hood my Spanish is pretty good it's, growing yeah, up but so, it's so yeah. So I just been I've been practicing that, but um, I like I like Tory Lanez, you know, I like his music. Um, Jail, no, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't. An, know. Album's gonna, an album's gonna sneak People out somewhere. From jail, yeah. yeah. Um, I like. Mm, there's it's crazy how like there's not many artists I can name right now that I that I'm just I, cause I listen I'm an R and B baby so. I listen to a lot of R and B. I listen to R and B when I'm working out. Um, John has an interesting playlist for when he's working out. I'm don't telling you? you, people probably look at me and they're like, "Oh, he's listening to fucking heavy metal." And I'm <laughs> listening to fucking. Yo, it's, it's it's funny as hell. Like, I remember one day I was in the gym and, I, you know, I'm working out. I'm doing bench, and then um, and I swear, you know, I was listening to to the Hercules theme, the Hercules theme song. That, um, on the show? No, from the movie, the which, Disney, the which Dis one? The Disney. Um, there's like two. Yeah, of them. I think there's yeah two no, that came out around the same time. Uh, the uh, the. Um, oh, you're talking about the cartoon one. Oh, the yeah, cartoon. The cartoon. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. The one the Rock was in. Or I whatever. can go the distance. Uh, That's okay, it, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I mean, well, I, you would never expect it. Like I'm just in there. Hey, for like, real though, I, when I when I was in the gym, I swear to you, I would play the Rocky theme music, or when he's training. <laughs> Where I was, man. Sad. <laughs> oh my god! Or the yeah. did you remember? Do you remember those movies pretty good, John? The Rocky ones. Uh yeah, kind of. Do you remember yeah. the? And I think it was the only time they ever played that song was in uh, the the one with uh, with his son with uh, Rocky's son. I think it was five, I think. And right in the beginning, it was like, "Take it back." Do do do. do. I, 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 I used to have all that so. shit, bro. Yeah. That's what I would listen to. Yeah. I listen to crazy yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. Well, I'm the same way. Like sometimes I take off my headphones to like wipe the sweat off in the bathroom, and then somebody pops in. I gotta pick them fucking headphones up. Put them on. Turn them down. So don't hear a fucking Taylor Swift fucking song. <laughs> You got me beat there. I don't or, listen to Taylor Swift. Or System so. of a Down. Remember that? Oh hell yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah, I still listen oh, yeah. to them. Lincoln Park. Yep. So listen to that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, fucking uh, who's that? Uh, the dude he used to wear a backwards hat all the time that Eminem had a beef with. Uh, um, something Dirts, Dirks, uh, Fred Dirt. Dirks, oh, Fred yeah, yeah. Fred, what was Fred his Dirt. group called? Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit, yep. He yep. used to listen to that a lot. I remember that CD was... That shit, he had some pretty good songs, too. He did have some shit pretty good songs. you can play at the gym. Yeah. 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 He was kind of in a... He was weird, though, because like, I, I don't think he fit. Like, he was trying to be hip-hop in the rock and roll scene at that time, and I yeah. don't think it was... The right yeah. time for it, it would never pass now. Like now, like now it was the right you think time. It would pass now? I don't know. I think now is a little more acceptable than it was back no, then. No, no, no. Well, he made it. He fucking made it. Yeah, he made it. But he was kind of he was kind of looked at kind of awkwardly in the in the industry. Yeah, yeah. He wasn't looked at like oh he's a serious rocker. He was more of nah. like 
I don't know. Like I think I think he was more built for like uh like maybe the late two thousands. He was in the early early two thousands. Yeah, late nineties. I think was when he started coming out. Like what what was that damn city called? The uh, hot dog flavored water, whatever the fuck it was called. Some All crazy right. ass shit like that. <laughs> Or whatever that well, had, had weirdos like that, like fucking Kid Rock, same thing. Like he was like fucking half country, half hip hop, half. He was rap. a legend from back then, though. Bro. Kid Rock, he's, he's been fucking. Is that awesome. is that the rolling rolling guy? No, no that's Limp Biscuit. Biscuit. That's, that's Limp Biscuit. Biscuit. Okay, that's Limp okay. Biscuit. Yeah, Kid that, Rock, Kid Rock's yeah. classic. He, he brought the Undertaker back. So yeah, I was happy. yeah, yeah. He, he, he had brought, the song he for a while. Yeah. yeah. Um, John, who inspires you in music? You know what? Growing up, I liked. Oh, fucking Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah, they were mm. good. They were good. I just did a show with them. Well, yeah? Yeah. How was that? Shit. That was cool. I did two shows with them, actually. I did one in Albuquerque, and I did one um, this yeah, in January at the... What the hell? I don't know. It was, it was a venue downtown. But yeah, it was cool. You got to meet them, talk to them? Oh, um, man, I'm like not going to lie, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. I just leave after I perform. <laughs> He's a no, because I, I just like I just be checked out after I'm like after I perform. I just be so tired. I'd be like, all right, man. A lot of energy there. Yeah, man. I mean, if I'm sure I'm gonna meet them, regardless. But a lot of times the 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 headliners they they um they kind of stay out the way, you know. And I I just I don't I don't feel like hey yeah. hey <laughs> like nah <I'd> rather, <laughs> you sign this for me <laughs> right, right no. hey dude but that's how I was when I no. when I met like fucking when I did my my part with J K Simmons I was the same fuck away yeah like, like that's a big timer for me bro like yeah. I I didn't even want to yeah. even I mean look his way two times because I'm like he's probably gonna think I'm crazy or some shit I you mean, know even though I probably could have I wanted to but yeah I mean like I met Twister like we did a song together we did the video. He, that was cool. That was a cool experience because I grew up listening to him, studying him, the fast rapping stuff. And um, he was cool too, you know? Like, it was, it, it's just it's just crazy, man. Like, the more I do music, the more um, I'm meeting everybody I've ever, like, was a fan of. I went to the club with Snow the Product. Like, it was cool. Um, you know, and and also you also learn a lot of like people are really just regular people. Everybody, like yeah. everybody, <laughs> like like I mean some of them. Yeah, I mean they yeah. have talents. Yeah, yeah, right? and they hone their fucking craft. Yeah, yeah. at the end of the but day, they, they are all just fucking they breathe air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, but but, food. but it's it's just like the more the 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 I'm climbing up and and the higher I climb and the the more I meet these people, it's just like. It's the same, bro. They're in the same situations we're in. A lot of the, a lot of rappers, they don't, they don't have like they're not rich as you think. There, it's it's a lot of things that that you're like, oh, this is crazy. Like I thought you were rich as fuck, or I thought this, you know. I said, but isn't that the mentality of like, yeah, when you when you make money, right? The more money you make, the more money you spend, and that's usually the problem. Yeah, right. The yeah. first thing you do, you make a couple million dollars, and you go buy your mama a house. Yeah. Then you buy yourself a couple yeah. million dollar houses. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I you mean, start running out of money fast. Yeah, and these these record labels, you know, they'll cheat you, bro. Oh, we throw, all know about the fucking they'll, record they'll throw, they'll throw they'll throw yeah. they'll throw a little money in your face. You ain't never had money. Like they'll throw a hundred thousand in your face, and somebody who never had money be like, "Fuck yeah!" I mean, look at there's famous ones. I mean, look at the 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 dudes from uh, all them boy bands that fucking got robbed by that one That's manager, crazy, boy man. Bands, like Insync and fucking no, but Insync and fucking actually, but they want to yeah, say they, they were, were big. Broke. They were, yeah, they, they were, were they were broke. Yeah, like they famous. Didn't see, everybody knows your name, but you're broke as shit. Like, no, they didn't it, make no sense. Yeah, and it's a lot of you know when it comes to um, followers, right? People think because they see followers, they they think it's Monet, you know, it's monetized already. Some people, um, I don't know if you heard of a comedian, Ha Ha Davis. No. He was just talking like he had like he said I think he had like four million followers, but he was living in his mom's basement. He's he's, he's rich now, you know what I'm saying? But he was just like, yo, I was I was famous and broke, you know what I'm saying? So it's like there's a lot of influencers like that out out there that don't know how to monetize their following, and there's always a way, bro, but. Comedians have it the worst because it's like well, now, yeah. now it's terrible. They can't yes. say a goddamn thing. Yeah, I think it's terrible. They mm-hmm. Should be able to say whatever the fuck they want to say. Yeah, comedian. I feel like comedians they'll get a big fan base off of just 
internet content and won't be making no money off it. I'm like, bro. I think about I, I, that's a risky one, right? Because I'm like yeah. a comedian. Like, let's say you got a following, right? And your jokes are just to make people laugh, right? But there's always going to be that one person that's going to get like fucking offended. And that could like literally like ruin your shit unless you're like Dave Chappelle. No, it yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. well, he's like, already he was already made by the time they started trying to. Fuck but that's my point. That I'm, that's my point. Like Dave Chappelle can do no wrong, right? Whatever he says is gonna is, is gonna be fine, right? Mm-hmm. And he deserves that. But like, if you're an up and coming comic, dude, if you say one thing the wrong way, mm. you know, was, to uh, whoever, let it be the wrong person to the you say the wrong thing to the wrong person who's like. Some type of influencer or whatever. Yeah, you, so, you're, you're fucked. You're fucked. So we all know SNL, right? Saturday Night mm-hmm. Live. Mm-hmm. And usually you get on that show and you make it big because you that show leads to movies and fucking whatever you you can imagine, right? Sure. So the one guy who was a comedian, they gave him a, a, a part in the show. And then right before he was supposed to start, they fucking canceled him. He said, fuck it, no, because he made an Asian joke like fucking five years before yeah, that. Just shit, crazy yeah. shit, man. They, I know I'm, a, I'm g- definitely going to get canceled. Man, it's already fate, right? Yeah, it's, it's my fate. As soon as, soon, as, soon as I get on, they're going to yeah. find some shit. <laughs> they're going to find some shit. See, but I don't think that's fair, bro. It's not, not fair, fair, bro. But, like, but I'm definitely going to get canceled. Let's bro. put it like this. I'm pretty sure I've said some stuff. I mean, I don't have a big following. I, right I don't now. fucking remember what I said. That's my point. I'm like, I think it's unfair to grab something yeah. that happened years ago when someone had a different mentality or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to make it anywhere. But if I ever make it anywhere in my life, I'm pretty sure someone's going to pull up mm-hmm. something on this yeah. fucking yeah. podcast. No, and be like, sure. Look what this motherfucker that's, said. Sure. That's going to be for me. Sure. Do, do, do me dirty. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to yeah. cancel my Look at this fucking text he sent me from like 15 yeah, years ago. He fucked me yeah, up, man. man. I, it's it's going to be a lot of lot of shit out there, man. I had an OnlyFans, man. So, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all going to come out. Did you make good money on that, bro? Man, I made like 700 in two days. And, and I was like, See, but I felt, how, I, felt, how I, felt, I felt like a slut. So I, <laughs> so I deleted my account. Oh, no, I'm trying to make one. That's 700. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm that's to not my fair, job. bro. That's not, hold on. First of all, let, let's be real, bro. That was that business is made for, for the ladies, bro. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. be real. Because there's yeah. girls, like I have a, I'm a friend who. Why you say it like because that? Because she's not even good looking. Yeah, like she's. Um, I don't want to say she's terrible. She's you better not, not say her name. No, I'm not. But she's. But she's average. Huh? She, she's normal average. No. Whoa. Oh. No. Oh, she's below. Yeah. She's below. like a four. Three and a half. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. She's popped. Beetlejuice? No. <laughs> Beetlejuice? No. No. You're, I don't even. I don't even talk to that chick forever. She's popped. Uh, she, whatever. Yeah. Um. And I and bro, she asked me, "Hey, do you think it's weird if I started OnlyFans?" I'm like, in my in the back of my head, I'm like, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, go ahead, girl. You do you, girl. Go get your money. Whatever. And I think she told me she made like, you know, a couple hundred bucks in like the first couple hours. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is so fucked yeah, up. I bro. wish I could fucking yeah, get nah, fucking yeah. naked in front of a camera and fucking make money. Yeah, no. Uh, no, nah, and, and like there's a, uh, like my friends. Like Eczema she, and all. She fuck was it. Like, she's like, man, I sent this dude a picture of my feet and he sent me 500. I was like, what? Bro, I've heard stories. Like, I've heard stories, especially yeah. on that one show on on the Fresh and Fit thing. When I sometimes I watch it for, mm-hmm. for yeah. comedic relief, mm-hmm. bro. Some of them girls be saying some crazy yeah. shit, bro. Like feet shit or whatever. I want to say paying for nutsack pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the going rate for that is because <laughs> it's not the same <laughs> thing. Though. Yeah, it's, no, it's not the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. No, I mean, there's no, no way. I mean, no. women women know that men. Hey, men, men, bro, men will reach to the lowest denominator. Yeah, for a when it comes to some women. men, yeah, it's, it's some men. I, no. I, I, I would never see myself paying for shit when there's free shit. Yeah, all but that, over that's the not what I meant. Though. I meant in overall, overall, a man, a man, like Chris Rock said, bro, a man is only a faithful to his options. It doesn't I, matter how ugly she is. Most most I, men will fuck that bitch, bro. Yeah, I, I, I always made the example of like, um, if a woman, right, an average woman goes outside. And she's naked. And she's like, somebody fuck me. Hundred guys. Oh, honey guys. Honey guys. A guy Two goes seconds. outside, we're we're going to jail. The police, yeah, the police is coming. We're going yeah. to jail. That's what you hear. That's what you hear. The There's truth. no bitches that want, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. It's the like, truth. So it's, like, it's the same analogy. I heard the same thing, but yeah. like with, with the club. Like if a girl goes to a club and yells, hey, who wants to fuck me tonight? She leaving with 20 guys. Easy, right? Easy. She could be a fucking two. She leaving with 20 guys. You could be a fucking 10. 
And you'd be lucky if you go home with maybe one. Yeah, there might be a maybe. drunk. There might be a drunk bitch. Yeah, there, like yeah, and that's you know and that's ten only by look. If yeah. you, and then if you add ten with like. Uh, or you got money, whatever, then that'll yeah. increase your chances. But even then, you're, you're still going home with single digits versus mm-hmm. that girl's going home with double, triple you're digits. You're mid, you're five, you're six, you ain't getting shit. Man, it's fucked up, and it leans so good towards the women yeah, in that man. regard. It's unfair. In that regard. Um, but, but go ahead, queen, you get your money. Yeah, get your queen, money. get your money, man. I'm not um, mad at you. So let, 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 let's, let's segue to the acting thing. Okay. What made you want to act? Just another challenge? Um... No, I just I've 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 been told for a long time that I had to look. I it was it was it wasn't even really um you know, obviously I went to the I went into I went to the art institute for three years and I did film. I did a little bit of acting, but it's not real real acting. But um when I s I ran into one of my buddies and um I I didn't see him in years and you know, I I transformed, I'm not gonna lie, like I, I lost weight, I, I um I got him a lot of more tattoos. I, you know, I just he just looked at me. He's like, "Oh, sh-. He, you know, we we were both with our daughters." And he's like, "What, well, bro? Oh my god!" And he's like, "We need you." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" He's like, "Bro, I do power. Like, you know, you got you got you got to do this with me. Like, they're looking for people like you. They're always looking for people like you. Every show." And I'm like, "All right, well, you know." And he's like, "Man, just submit your pictures. You know, I did what I had to do." And um, they called me right away. And um. Apparently they were like, "Why wasn't this guy around before? Like in the beginning of the season?" But you know, I did. I did the, like going back to the, I did the two episodes, and and it was just like it was. Man, I learned that it's it's um, you know, I learned I learned a lot. I learned especially I learned that um, there's a such thing as overacting. Oh yeah, you know, and that's something I learned. Like it's like. Uh, <laughs> There was a scene. I'm not gonna be too specific with the scene, but there was a scene that um, that the uh, the director had to come up to me. He's like, "Hey, um, <laughs> tone it down." Tone it down he, he was like, he's down like, he's like, "You're at about a nine. <laughs> <laughs> I need you at about a, a three. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "All right, man." Because because look, um, in the scene, somebody died, and uh, <laughs> and I was. If somebody dies, you gotta act it sure. out, you know. So, um, but remember, I'm not I'm not the main character here, right? So I was kind of can't be stealing. Yeah, scenes. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, no, it, it was it was um it, it was <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it was a little embarrassing, but at the same time, it was a good learning experience where I was like, oh, yeah, that's a learning experience. Well, I where I was like, okay, nine to a three. All right, cool. Just go out there and just put my hands up. Oh no, <laughs> you know that's it. So, I think I was taught. I was taught that the the story is not about me, my character. The story is about the other character, yeah. right? So my job is to enhance that story. Mm-hmm. That's how I look at stuff okay. like that. Like again, I would never dare to steal a scene from fucking you know anybody that I right. that I, that's again. It's, it's not about me. It's about yeah. them. So yeah. like I have to keep that in mind. So definitely, there's a thing about overacting. I know a lot of people that overact. I mean, you yeah. watch movies now. You watch people, yeah. professionals. Yeah, it's cringy overact. as fuck. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, like it's, it's like tone it down and not. You know, yeah, it's cringy as fuck. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> I seen a movie yesterday. I was on an airplane. Um, <laughs> and with some girls. Just <laughs> matter of fact, I think it was Willow Smith. Um, in this, yeah, yeah. I, see, I, I think it was. It? Yeah, I think she. Yeah, she was in this movie. I think. I think it was her. It looked just like her. And I seen. I seen it. She. There was a part where it was just like. Overacting, where I was like, "Oh my god," it's like kind of cringy, and I was like, "Ugh." <laughs> so now I'm starting to like, you know, I'm starting to learn that. Like, I'm like, "All right, cool," and you know, um, you really don't know how you look until you look at the camera back, and you be like, "Oh my god." Let me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what the directors there. For. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's it's um, and they told me they're like, if you're not doing it right, they'll they're gonna tell you, right? Um. I, I look at it, it, it's a challenge, right? To me, it's a mental challenge. Like trying to get out of your own head, trying to play a character, play something that's not you, whatever. Those type of things are challenges for me, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and again, mind you, I've never done anything huge. I've been on a few shows, but nothing crazy. Um, but you do learn a lot when you're there. Like you, you watch these guys do what they do. Like yeah. they're fucking, I mean, but then again, you watch it and it's funny. I don't know if you got the same experience like I did. So like I was on Chicago PD and I was a cast. I was a cast member. And um, what'd you play? Uh, Gang banger number, no, whatever. Course. I don't remember. 
Um, so at the end of the day, because it was like a fucking 12 hour day, um, the main cast comes in to bust the party of them, of our gang or mm-hmm. whatever. Right. So we're just going and they bust in, you know, they do what they do a couple times and then we talk about it and whatever. And I'm watching them and I'm like, these guys are professionals who do this every day. Right. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they have really good performances, sometimes mm-hmm. not so much, but whatever. And when I'm watching them do it, because I'm in the room, right? I'm like, damn, this looks like fucking how my acting classes were when we would like practice mm. shit. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, well, you know what? It is hard, right? It is hard. Obviously, you're not going to wake up tomorrow and be fucking Denzel Al Pacino right, right. or whatever, right? That takes mm. years of mm-hmm. fucking practice. But you got to do it. It's like anything else, right? You want to look mm. like you guys, you got to hit the fucking gym. Every fucking day. Mm-hmm. You want to be a good basketball player, you got to shoot fucking free throws, LeBron. Right. Practice <laughs> fucking free throws, bro. Hey, man, um, we won yesterday, man. And he hit both free throws. <laughs> he hit, both, he free hit throws. both free throws. But let me tell you something about LeBron, bro. LeBron should have ducked that shit that one time he got fouled or whatever. No, there was a play before. Oh, you're talking about the Celtics. Jason Tatum. Jason Celtics, bro, yeah. when I'm, they like, his arm. I'm like, bro, there was another, I don't even think it was the Celtics. Was another, I saw a replay on, on Facebook or whatever. So he goes up. Right. And his arm is still like a half a foot above the rim. And then he laid it up like a little roll thing because he got a little bit of contact. And I'm like, no, but he didn't get fouled, though. The, this, the one you're talking about was like at the end of regulation. Mm. And I'm like, bro, like, that's why people criticize you. Because you know what? Jordan, at that age, he would have dunked that shit. Yeah. Kobe would have dunked that shit yeah. or whatever. That's why people criticize you because like you lose, you've lost your like. Yeah edge and you're still fucking jumping out the fucking gym you're still fucking a fucking bulldozer like crazy man that that's where do you stand on that lebron or jordan um i'm jordan but i am lebron's right now my lebron's my favorite player right now you know what i'm saying but um why (laughs) (laughs) no i mean yeah no (laughs) i'm kidding he uh no i'm but i'm a jordan jordan's the best jordan's the goat like he's the best as long as, long as we agree on that, yeah. we're good. No, Jordan is no, definitely the goal. LeBron, LeBron is the greatest basketball player. I, want to say, I don't like using the word greatest. He's the best player. All say around. it, John. The All best. around. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's the best basketball player right now, right? Yeah. No, he's not. What, what are you mean? talking about? I still think he's the best player right now. No, In the Luke, NBA? Luka's better than him. Uh, Maybe a couple players that are better than him. Uh, at his age? I mean, I'm just saying, right now, LeBron, what, 37, 38? Where well, would you put him, third? And Luka. Uh, he's top five he's for top sure. top five probably, but you he's know not Luka, better than Luka. Luka's fucking amazing, but you know what's fucked up about Luka? Like, when I'm watching him play, what? And I, know I'm, I know I can't do this, but I'm watching him play, and he's so fucking slow with shit. I'm like, but I feel like I can fucking guard him. stop him. <laughs> I feel like I could block his shit. Bro. I feel like he I feel not, like I can. I feel I'm not like, saying I can. I feel yeah. like you're stupid. I am sure. <laughs> I'm the, if the people in the NBA can't do it, you're definitely I'm not just, doing it. That, I'm not saying. I'm just saying it looks fucking slow as fuck. No, and he I, is. Like, I don't understand. He's fucking can't. good, though. But I'm, I don't know what's up with that dude's teeth, though. That dude looks like he smokes a pack of cigarettes a day. Who? Uh, Luca? Luca. He's God, European. Bro. Of course he smokes. Or wherever Damn, he's boy. from. Yeah. I, uh, he's got to be, what, like 21 years old? 22? Nah, he's yeah. old. I, I mean, I, I, I look at I look at LeBron. How everybody everybody hates LeBron, like, for the most part, in Chicago at least. Um, that's the way I felt about Kobe when he was playing. He was so great. Like, he used to fucking do shit where I'm like, and I was an Iverson fan. So he used to bust our ass all the time. And I used to be mad. I used to be like, I hate this guy. Well, Iverson? To, no, oh, Kobe, Kobe. Kobe. I used to hate Kobe because he was so fucking good. So you were man. an Iverson fan? Yeah. Got it. And he used to bust the 76ers ass every fucking chance. And Matumbo could not handle Shaq. <laughs> so I, I, um, that's the same way I felt about Kobe. And that's like when, when people like, oh, man, I, f- I fucking hate LeBron and all that. That's kind of the comparison I make because I'm like, okay, I get it. Because... People used to be like, why don't you like Kobe? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> he just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't hate LeBron. Yeah. I don't hate LeBron. I just hate the conversation about LeBron because there is no conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, con- the concept he, of having him be in the same argument with Michael Jordan, different kind of player. they're different players. Bro. Like, yeah. You can't even put them in the same 
yeah, room yeah. together. Yeah, he's a different kind of player. You know, like I think Kobe, Kobe and Jordan are a good conversation. Yeah. That, that's, I mean, yeah. it's obviously it leans heavily on Jordan's side, but yeah. that's yeah, a conversation. Yeah, 100%. Fuck out of yeah. here. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> King's got oh, swear. you're a Kobe. That. You're I'm a Kobe. Sure. I'm a fucking Kobe fan. Oh, okay. I'm a Kobe fan for life. Uh, bro, I nah. cried when he died. No, when he when he retired, I, I appreciate. Like, it's not one of those things where I was like, uh, like I appreciate his talent. He was so fucking good that I used to just hate him, bro. I used to be like, man, this fucking guy, man. He's just when we would go up, he would just there. I was once he had the ball in his hand, I was like, he's not gonna miss. And I, I used to be upset. That, you're probably one of the only few people that thought that because a lot of people would think he would miss a lot. No, nah, he, he was me, missing a nah, lot of shots. No, nah, like me, every time when he well, when he played the Sixers, that's that's when I used to like you know. But that was the was that the game that Shaq fouled out? Remember there was like this big no, one no, on the playoffs with the Lakers where like Shaq fouls out and like Kobe carried the team to the to the end or whatever. Yeah, I guess no, it's no. it's like fucking Tom Brady. He retired now, and then you appreciate it, but. Like when he's playing, you, you fucking hate him because he's fucking kicking your team's ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Is that dude like the equivalent of Michael Jordan in football? Who? Tom Brady. I think yeah, hell more, yeah. yeah. More, more. He bet more. I think more. I feel yeah. like more because I feel like he has more to do with winning than anybody else on the field. Yeah, <laughs> that motherfucker mean, on, went in to the world. Eleven <laughs> fucking cha- how how many? I like eleven championships. Yeah. Like, but that's my, but my crazy. point is my point is is. Like, he's so responsible for the W's in the game because he's literally the one that does. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah, doesn't yeah. run yeah, the he football. Has control, whatever, he has control. But he's the everything. one that does everything. Like, he has to throw the ball. And he was obviously a really good passer. He's obviously a Yeah, run, yeah and, you know, on defense, too. You know, defense. Has, sure. Yeah. I mean, the Brian or Lackers of the world. You yeah. Know, people yeah. like that. Uh, speaking of the Bears, what do we think? Uh, they're going to be in Arlington in the next few no, years? No, they're going to be in Arlington. They, I think they bought the property already. Did they? I thought it had yeah, to close. I, so. I hope they're they going do. to Arlington. Yeah, I feel like they should. I think they need to let go. This is like a big ass racetrack over there yeah. that they bought, and they're gonna they're gonna transform it into this whole. So like, it's gonna complex. be the Arlington Bears. No, it's still gonna be the uh, Chicago Bears. I'm like, because the the name is part of the. But it, it, yeah, I'm like, cool what the as fuck? Is it, there's gonna be parking, plenty of space if it goes through. We'll see. I think they I don't should. think they want to be in the city anymore. I think they should because I think they need a. I think the Bears need like a fresh start. Like something to motivate them to play better, right? Because yeah. right now the, the the fact that they don't make any money playing in Soldier Field and the drama with the with the city, they don't really make money on Soldier Field, bro. Well, who don't make money? The, the players, Bears, the Bears don't make a lot of money on that. Oh, I guess they barely get ticket sales. Mm. What are you talking about? Ba- because it's not owned by them, bro. It's not owned by the NFL. Who do you think owns it? Park District. Correct. So who do you think gets the money? The Park District. I guess. Not the Bears. That's why they want to leave. Mm. Why do you think it took? Why do you think the renovation thing was such a was such a thing? And now Lori's the one pushing. Now they want to spend the money. Now they're throwing out all this. Oh, we're gonna build you guys a dome. Blah 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 blah. Why? Because they threatened to leave. She looks bad now. She looks terrible. That Chew. fucking. Being, I think we need to vote in two. I think being in charge fucks you up. Oh yeah, man. Like I the think so president, too, man. mayor, whatever. Oh, yeah, they, everybody. Oh, every you. single mayor has gone like that. Stressed out, right? Fucking Emmanuel. When, when Emmanuel went into office after daily, he had black hair. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later, he was gray as fuck. Yeah. Obama, he no, was black no, hair. Yeah. What? Yeah. This shit went great quick. That's why when they said, oh, the rock should run, I'm like, no, don't. No, they don't no. have hairs. So at least it won't break. At least, no, at least but, they won't turn but, gray. But I don't he, like that motherfucker. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't I want him to age. You don't like the man. You really don't like the rock. Bro. I do not. You don't like the rock. Nah, fuck man. No, fuck Damn. that guy. Come on, bro. Who, who doesn't like the rock? Come on, bro. Apparently, the people in DC. No, the people like the rock. He's a people's the champ. people, man. He's yeah. a people's champ. <laughs> Dude. I mean, I will say he's a little he's a little conceited nowadays. I ain't gonna lie to you. He is fucking. I fucking, hate him. You know I fucking, fucking hate Instagram. He be, he be putting stuff up, and I'm like, bro, did, come on. Did bro. you think you, you know the Black Adam thing? Uh-huh. Do you think that? Um, do you think the reason why it didn't work out because they had to pay him so much? Um, as an actor, like, do you think it's like, all right, well, this is well, the budget because it, it made. They spent four hundred million, and they made back three, right? And then so, they spent two hundred million advertising together. Yeah, that so they took an L. But do you think it had to do with a lot of like his pay? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, and I, and I hate to say it because I, I like The Rock, Fuck the right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think he's well. It's hard to say who's worth what, right? 
Talent wise, I don't think he's worth it mm-hmm. because I don't think he's a great actor. Mm-hmm. Right. He's worth it in the sense because he has a fan base. Mm-hmm. Right. Because he was a wrestler. All of us will go watch mm-hmm. it because we watched him as kids. Yeah. Right. So we'll go watch him except him. Um, as an actor, I don't think he's great. I don't think he's worth that type of money. Like, I think Denzel Washington is worth that money. Yeah. I think Al Pacino's worth that fucking money. Leonardo DiCaprio's worth that money. Gary Oldman's worth that kind of money. Mm. The Rock, is he really? I mean, he just plays him. But then again, I understand because he brings people. Yeah. Now, Black Adam's an interesting subject because I watched the movie. I, it was okay. Eh, it was okay. I didn't think it was great. I didn't think it was bad. Um... I think that movie, the problem with that movie was it didn't know where it was going since it was DC's all fucked up and what the fuck they're trying to do. They don't even know what the fuck they're trying to do. So I think it just man, didn't know horrible, where to go. Bro. It didn't know where to horrible, go. Horrible, man. I'm, I'm like, so. Did I'm, you watch I'm, it? I did. Enjoy I, it? I enjoyed it. Um, but I, I'm not a, I'm not um, one of those. I don't set high expectations for certain movies. You know what I'm saying? I just go in there and watch it. Popcorn and, movie. Yeah, yeah. I kind of just go in there and be like, um, oh, this was cool. Oh, there's a lot of oh, there's a lot of action in this. Oh, I like this, you know, it keeps me engaged. Um, and I, I'm a fan of The Rock, obviously, but uh, but um, it, it was a good movie. I just, I just, I don't know, bro. DC's just fucking up right now, bro. And I don't know, like Marvel's just able to just keep releasing shit. And I'm like, man, well, Marvel's not doing all that great either right now either. They're they're, they're not, but too. they're yeah, but they. They, they're consistent at least like they're like at least they're still always going to be a step above DC yeah, of course yeah. as far as right now but that's now. because of what they built yeah. it, see okay so I think I've always said I've said since Endgame Marvel peaked mm-hmm. Marvel peaked with Endgame and I wouldn't have been upset and I know it was never going to happen it was a fucking long shot but if they would have said this is the last movie they're that we're going to make, make a movie again no no that's I would say they go on a hiatus for like 10 years if they would have said Endgame is going to be the climax and we're not going to see another one for like another 10 years, I would have been okay with that because the danger of reaching a climax is how do you keep up with that? Right? Because mm-hmm. you're always going to be measured to that. You can't keep it up after a climax. <laughs> <laughs> it goes down naturally. Unless you got Viagra. And, and ga- Endgame was. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just feel like it's like, okay, let's say Terminator. You're one of your favorite fucking movies, right? So you got Terminator 1, which was really good. And you got Terminator 2, which was fucking great. And then you and have five other up. ones yeah. that fucking suck yeah. balls. Yeah, I, I, um, damn, yeah. Yeah, I stopped at a certain point. Wow. Jurassic Park, same fucking thing. Jurassic Park 1 was great. Jurassic Park 2 was okay. Everything else was eh. Yeah. Whatever. None of them have ever met up to what that the first ones did. There's a lot of movies that do that. They just keep. Dropping, but you see, Marvel wasn't. But Marvel wasn't. Oh when the Rock God, got fucked, there. no, that was actually a good one, bro. Fast Five was actually really good. Marvel was the anomaly because Marvel got better mm. with yeah. more sequels. Yeah, no, like, like until now, like like X Men, that shit just kept getting better, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Except for X, which one of the movies? Yeah, the X-Men. the last stand one was pretty bad though. Which one's that? The one? third one, the one with the uh, Beast and uh, with the mutant cure. Mm. That one was rough. Uh, that one was rough. Yeah, the that, second one was great. The, the one with the Nightcrawler. One with the, I didn't like the one with the Sentinels where they all died and shit. Oh, that was the, that's one of the modern ones. Yeah. That's one of the newer yeah. ones. I'm thinking the older ones, the ones yeah. in the early 2000s. Yeah. Because that second one was crazy. But Logan was great. <laughs> Logan was good, too. Did you watch Logan, Chuck? Yeah. You remember watching with the X-Men girl? 2? Yeah. yeah, with the little girl. Yeah. Remember watching X-Men 2? Which one was <laughs> that? One? <laughs> X-Men 2 is the one with, uh, when Nightcrawler goes and attacks the White House in the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, when da- I saw that, that... Days of Future Past? No, no, no. It's X-Men 2. All right. The original cast. All right. In the very beginning, Nightcrawler attacks... Oh, okay. Yeah, the, pre- yeah. the president. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And he leaves the knife or whatever. That scene was fucking mind-blowing for me. Like, him warping around mm-hmm. and disappearing. and doing, I was like, God damn, that shit look cool. Then the third one came out. It was just bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I gotta go back I, I just remember I think it was X-Men 1 or 2 where I didn't notice it till th- I watched the later movies I went back and I was like yo his fucking claws look fake <laughs> uh, <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. like if you go to the first, like fucking phone yeah no like yeah. like he was he was in a bathroom and he and his claws came up 
Oh, and it looks yeah. so bad. bad. It looks so bad, right? But that whole movie's bad, bro. That was the <laughs> that was the X Men Origins, the Wolverine Origins movie. Yeah, bro. I hold on. Let me tell you a funny story about that movie. I saw that movie like leaked on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. It was an unfinished version of the movie, right? So like it had strings and I green seen that. screen I and all that. I see. Hold that. on. Yeah. So I watched it like that. No big deal, right? Then I went to watch the the, the theatrical release, and it was no fucking better. Yeah, it was that it bad, was that, oh, bro. Like, there's a scene, Ryan Reynolds, right? Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. There's a mm -hmm. scene where they're like all they're doing their hero pose, where like I think Logan walks away and they're all standing there, and then like a lightning strike kind of happens in the forest, and in the un unedited version, you can see the the light bulb that flashes in the in the studio, right? In the movie, I swear to you, I saw the same fucking light bulb. Like, bro, did no one see that? Like. Oh, oh, yeah. You couldn't no. wait till the movie actually came out. You had I don't to know how I saw it. I don't, bullshit. Nah, I don't know. I, I think I, it was just like somebody posted about it. And I was in Korea. I was in Korea. When, when that movie came out? Yeah. And uh, there was a, a movie uh, store where, you know, they still had <clears throat> DVDs and sure. shit. <laughs> and, Blockbuster uh, for all yeah, these kids yeah, that yeah. don't know what it is. Yeah. So, I, so we went, I went over there. I got the movie. And when I, when I played it, I'm like, what? Like it, it was the the scene with Ryan Reynolds where I was like, "What the fuck?" Where, where he's um, swinging the knives around. Yeah, where, where Ryan Reynolds is like using his lasers to. Uh, oh, you know what I'm they, talking yeah, about? Yeah, because they already have made him into the. Yeah, into yeah, the yeah. So that shit was still up, green screen and shit. So it looked weird as hell. I was like, <clears> "What the fuck?" And it didn't look no better in real in the actual <laughs> theatrical run. Yeah. Oh, you were like, in Korea, South Korea. Yeah, I went to right. um, yeah, South Korea. So you traveled pretty much everywhere, right? Yeah, I mean, I I um I was in the military. So, what branch were you in? I mean, I was a, uh, I was in the army. Mm, scary. I wouldn't do that. MP. <laughs> yeah. Um. You were. Yeah. I was in. I went to Iraq too. I was. I got deployed. That's crazy. Yeah. I would never. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken would, shit. Did yep. I try to talk you into it? Yep. And I said no. I said I'm good. Yeah. I will stay home. Pussy. <laughs> Call me a fucking pussy. I don't give yeah. a fuck. I mean, when I got back, everybody was like, "Bro, you're fucking crazy." I was. And then you have those guys that'll come up and be like, man, fuck that. If they let me go, I, but I got felonies. I'm like, bro, a lot of, you know, when you're from the hood, a lot of, a lot of dudes in the hood, they think that, they, that the army is just one of those things where they're just going to be like, here's a gun. Go shoot. It's like, no, nah, bro. You have, they're going to fucking make you run and discipline yeah. you. I mean, unless it's a fucking yell in your war. Face like you're a bitch. Unless it's a yeah. war and it's a draft. Yeah. If it's a draft, then they just yeah. say, yeah, here's yeah. a gun. Go yeah. shoot. Yeah. They're probably using you as a uh, fucking pawn, but yeah, sure. No, no, they they um they make in a sure. draft situation, John. You still gonna get trained? I They're doubt it. Send you, you out there it, with a fucking rocket. You launcher. think in World War Two? You think in World War Two they yeah. were fucking training people before they put them down? And I mean, fucking, at least for like a couple weeks. I yeah, would say a couple fun. hours. Here's an instruction manual. Read it on your way. Yeah, that's probably it at that time. I mean, mind you, that's a certain situation, right? Yeah. If we're at war and you need to do something, that's different. But yes, of course, they would probably train you if they had the time. But yeah, they treat they treat you like a kid. They treat you like a bitch. They break you down <clears> to, to build you back up. So um, that's why I think Jonathan would have been able to do it. But yeah. Jonathan gets too bad over shit sometimes. I, right? I, I know. <laughs> I know. Like people when I there's certain people that I'd be like, you would never you could never. I'm you got to be I'm, able to, you got to be able to humble yourself at yeah, some points, man. Yeah. You got to be able to shut up and, and, and just take it. You just shut up. Yeah, sure. You know, somebody yelling in your face, you just got to look at them like, okay. Yeah. If I want that experience, I'll play Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick with that shit. Yeah. Um, fucking shit. Um, so what are you looking forward to in, in the acting world, bro? What, what's, what's on the, what's in the pipeline? Um, man, I, I'm, Obviously, I'm I, I'm look. I want I want to I want to continue doing it, but I want to take some uh, some classes so to get more experience. I don't want to just throw throw myself in there like that. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm gonna read some lines and stuff like that. I would like to to be more prepared. You know, I, this this time I just just kind of got thrown into it. Um, and it, it like I said, I didn't do bad. I I just I just know I can do better. And you know when you could do better. Of course. You know? And I'm like, oh, okay. This is, this was different. I learned. I got a little embarrassed for, for, but it was, it was part of the learning. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like uh, being an artist, being a musician. You go on stage and you, you just, you know you had a bad uh, show. You know, you get off stage and you're like, fuck, that, that didn't go too well. But um, 
but you come back and you do better. I think I think the the hard and I was who was I talking to about this? Maybe with Erica. Um, she's a friend of mine, actress, and we were talking about like, oh, how many times have you been called this year, mm-hmm. right? Or we we're talking about like auditions that we've gotten yeah. or whatever. Um, and she hasn't gotten. <clears throat> she's gotten a few, and you know, I I, I didn't get one in all of December, mm-hmm. right? And um, maybe one. And we were like, oh, I mean, do you get discouraged by that shit? You know, and I mean, yes and no. Right. I guess it would be like a bad performance for you would be Mm -hmm. like, do I get discouraged by this bad performance? Um, You know, I don't let it bother me, you know, but no, I can see where it can. uh, I I just I just know now as a I've been doing it long enough to know, like. Not all crowds are going to fuck with you, you know, what I'm saying like um, I might go up there. And I, I give it my I give it my all every time I go up there, whether it's ten people, whether it's a thousand people. I just go up there and I do me, and um, I understand that there's gonna be tough crowds. It's like especially when I'm I'm performing in front of somebody else's fans, you know. But I know my element, and I know that if you put me in a in my element, I'm gonna do very good. But if you if you put me in a, if you put me in front of like. I'm gonna say what my element is. You put me in in a arena full of women, I'm I'm gonna do good. Good game, yeah, yeah. But if you put me in an arena full of guys who listen to this guy or that guy, like I'm gonna do my best, and I'm gonna do my and if my music's not doing it for you, I'm an entertainer at the end of the day. So I'm gonna talk to y'all and I'm gonna let y'all know, like, hey, gotcha. You know, yeah. Um, that makes sense. That's like I, I guess if if. It would be like in the acting world, like every character you play is not going to click with everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, what's the guy, um, Ryan Cranston? Cranston? No, Cranston. Cranston. Yeah. Um, he's a really good actor. There's he's played roles that he's won fucking a lot of shit for, and then he's some roles where he's like, "What the fuck did you do this for?" Fucking hot garbage. You know, like he he's really good in Breaking Bad. No, not Breaking Bad. Yeah. Is it Breaking Bad? Yeah. So he's really good for that, but then he played Zordon in the Power Ranger movie, which is really fucking stupid. <laughs> Zordon. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. You know, I mean, you're not going to tag with everyone in every yeah. situation, you know, but I mean, the great ones know how to keep working even in fucking trials. Imagine hey, if Michael Jordan would have quit yo, after he got beat. Have you seen, have you seen um, Hellboy? The old one with, uh, what's his no, face? No, the Golden uh, Army. Or something. What's well, with the guy, oh, right? The, the, yeah, the, that, the, the, that ugly motherfucker. Yeah, with the yeah, white yeah. hair. Or okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have about. you seen that? You seen I that feel one? like I have. So you seen the one with the white hair? The guy with the white yeah, hair, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you seen Blade? It's the same guy. Blade. Yeah, it is. <laughs> with the glasses. <laughs> yeah. The trench coat. yeah. It's the same guy. I, yo, I seen it. I'm like, why is he playing the same character just with hair? Like, <laughs> have you have you noticed that? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen Blade, bro. He's got, like, a distinct voice. Yeah, he has you know, a voice. He, doesn't know, he looks exactly hair. the same. Yeah. He looks. He got the same exact makeup, everything, but he just got hair. In I'll tell you another one. He, he played a fucking Russian sniper in uh, Enemy at the Gate. Same person. Yeah. Fuck it, he's playing a Russian fucking soldier, <laughs> and he sounds exactly like fucking Hellboy. Like, it's oh. fucking stupid. You, you know who does that? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hey, man, don't talk about that. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's the king of that shit, hey. bro. He only plays himself. Mm. He only plays himself. Yeah. The Rock is too. I ain't gonna lie to you, though. The Rock is the same guy hey. in every fucking movie. He is. He's he never... Is. He's The only time I've ever seen him... Honestly, his best acting the to me was... Theory. No, I, I liked it, but no. I would say... <laughs> I would say the best I've ever seen him act where he showed a range of, like, emotion and seriousness was Gridiron Gangs. I have not and seen no one seen I gotta it. try it. <laughs> no one saw it. it. It was, like, based on a true story where he's, like, a football coach for, like, a... a, a he works for a... Yeah, a, man. Uh, those are the movies, like... Uh, those are the those are the ones... I know what you're saying. I've seen it, but I've never seen I it. I think he's he's a... He works for, like, a, a detention center for teens, yeah. for, yeah. like, kids or whatever. And then, like, he wants to change I, the I've idea. I've seen the previews, for sure. So I've he buzzed this football thing or whatever. And I actually think that was the best acting he ever did, where it was, like... He knew how to play emotional. He played energetic. He played strict. He played whatever. Was that the one that you remade a scene? Yes. That was the first time I ever picked up a camera. Good times. Good times where you couldn't stop fucking laughing. You remember that? I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, he doesn't understand that fucking laughing is the most That was your cousin. Thing. That was your cousin laughing. She made me laugh. You know what else what is you weird? Do? You know what's weird about acting? That maybe one day, I don't know if you'll get through it, but 
or maybe with the same thing with you with music now. Um, do you enjoy music the same way? Or are you too critical now because you're in the business and now you're breaking down other people's like, like it's hard to enjoy. Oh, okay. Something. Okay. I get, I get what you're saying. Um, like with film, uh, I'll start, I'll start, I'll, can't watch movies I'll, I'll start more. with film. Like since I, I edit, I, I, I know how to edit film and I've, I've, I've learned how to shoot short films. I, I've, I've, um, I've shaken that off already, but when I was in film school, Bro, I used to watch every movie like the color correction is amazing on this. <laughs> like, or the, am, or, or, or the color, what the fuck? Like, they could have did so much better. And I'm like, why is it so yellow? Like, it, it was it was a, a lot of things that I just couldn't stop critiquing. You know what I'm saying? I can't fucking stand it. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> it drives yeah, me fucking yeah, crazy. Yeah, man. no, but like, I, I grew out of it eventually. Especially even with music, like, um, like I, I'm around producers all the time that 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 um. You know, it's hard. You know, they just create, oh man, this mix is terrible or da da da. And I'm just like, I learned how to enjoy shit without, um, with understanding what they were trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, like with film, when when you when you um, when you think of a horror movie, right? You kind of think of a green tint a little bit. You kind of think a little sure. like you know, it's uh, it's certain, it's certain it's like a yeah, power. yeah, it's got it's got a, a, a mood. You know, like sure. like Gotham. When you when you when you look at Gotham, you 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 see a color. Yeah. You know, like the Matrix is more of a greenish movie. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Kinda, I get, I yeah. get you. So so, it's got a it's got its own color mood. palette. Yeah, color color mood. Yep, yep. exactly. So nah, yeah, I I grew out of it, it but I definitely had a. Um, a stage of that where I'm just like critical of everything, bro. <laughs> I think that's why I started, I started liking to, uh, I started falling in love with reading a book because mm -hmm. a book is different. Yeah. Right. So a movie like, like I, I'll tell you the truth. I, I've been off this whole week. So I started watching, um, I started rewatching as I, I'm a fan of the Terminator movies. And, um, I don't know if you remember, but in the early two thousands, I want to say they had Something a TV like show. That. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was called Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Mm -hmm. I remember watching it when it was running, but I was still kind of a kid. And I thought it was okay, but I didn't really think nothing of it. And then they got, it got canceled or whatever. And then they put it on Hulu, and I was like, eh, I'm going to watch it again. I haven't mm -hmm. seen it in a long time. I was like, I think that's a pretty fucking good show. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know why they canceled this. But it's hard for me because I look at stuff now, and I try to find what they teach me or what I was taught, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, you got to sell it with your eyes and I'm watching a scene and I'm trying to see trying what to the hell they're, they're, they're feeling in their eyeballs. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's like, yeah, this is when okay. I, I'm too critical. Yeah, I'm too critical because yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh, I didn't see anything. I, I get that. I, I didn't see that. anything. That cut was that. horrible. Why the fuck did we look over here? Blah, 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 blah. And like, I'm editing a film, my short film now. And I'm like, I got to tell a story. I got to know why we're looking this way. Why we're looking over here. Why we can't just go from here to here without showing Mm -hmm. in this between here we can't just do that or whatever so it, it became yeah. a love hate thing for me yeah I, I know I mean like with music it's just like I, I'm learning you gotta you gotta evolve with time too like um, I, I used to there's certain things like music um, types that I used to listen to I used to be like what the fuck but I learned how to understand it why do why do people like this why do people like that instead of being like fuck that I don't like that because um, I feel like um, like underground hip hops, hip hop heads, they're very guilty of that. Where it's just like, fuck that, fuck that. We're not listening to that mumble rap shit, or we're not listening. And, and it's like, it's like, um, if you if you learn how to understand why people like it, you you know what I'm saying you you don't have to listen to it, but at least you can have an appreciation. Yeah, yeah, for you it. can have an appreciation for what it does for people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, like. It's moods, every you know, it's vibes. How, how do you, how, everything makes you feel a certain type of way when it comes to music, you know? Um, that's why I don't, when I work out, I, I, I work out to R&B because it relaxes me. You know what I'm saying? If I listen to trap music, I'm fucking, I have anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> You know, so so and, I kind of. And what does that Disney song do for you, man? <laughs> it, it, yeah, <laughs> it, it motivated. It motivates me. I can go to distance. Don't, don't, you, don't, you listen, <laughs> don't you listen to the fucking Pocahontas movie? No, nah, or the Pocahontas song. Man, on, look, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, been in the gym listening to Lion King uh, songs, bro. bro. I sing uh. that, bro. I sing that shit in the car. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flying fuck. I have karaoke those fucking uh, songs. For I don't real. give a shit. Man, I am a kid in heart. Yeah, I don't shit, care. That shit don't get old. Um, you grew up in. The city right 
Yeah. What school did you go to? High school? Clemeny. Everyone went to I, I knew he was going to say that. It was, uh, well, yeah. it was either Clement or Cover Park. I'd be like, yeah. we're Hispanic. We go to one of those yeah, two schools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we grew yeah. up in the same area. Yeah, and, uh, you yeah, either go bro. to Clement or you go to yeah, Cover Park. it's crazy. When I say, I remember when I used to be like, um, they're like, where are you from? And like, I, when I was in the military, I was like, uh, Humble Park. My folks were like, man, that motherfucker's crazy over there. And I'm like, yeah, it was. Go over there now. It's safe That's as fuck. Right, man. safe it's as pretty fuck. pretty safe. It's just you see people walking their dogs nowadays. Walking their dogs, man. Never saw that shit. You saw people running. For real. No, I, no, I still, I still like, I, I, if I walk down the street, I, even where I stay, like, you know, white people jog. They like jogging at, at night, you know? Chicago crazy. And, and, right then, now, and then I hear, I hear leaves and I'm, I turn around, bro. <laughs> yeah. That happened the other day. That happened the other day. I'm walking with my homie. And then uh, there, was, there was a white dude just jogging and shit. And as soon as as soon as I heard a leaf, like it was something he you stepped ready? on. You ready? I turned around and I, I I turned around and I cocked back, bro. And dude was like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." And I'm like, "No, I'm like, you're good. I'm like, you can't be running behind people like that, bro." You're certain you better people. Put, yeah. put a belt yeah. on your ankle yeah, or some shit. Yeah, hell no, nah, bro. Even this motherfucker. I went to his house yeah. to to see some video he was editing, and I had to park on the side street. So I'm getting ready to pull out. I'm leaving. It's like fuck at what, like ten o'clock. And his car pulls up right next to me. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I'm going to die. And then he, 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 <laughs> rolls out the, he rolls out the window. And I'm like, oh, shit, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a little Mexican guy. You you leaving? Can I take parking? And I was like, yeah, man, go ahead. You fucking give me a fucking heart attack. Hey, that happened to me, though. That happened to me with with, um, with, a, with a fan. Like, it's, ha- it's happened to me quite a few times, though, where I don't, I don't know if this guy hates me. Or he's a fan, or he, or I fucked his bitch or something. I don't. It could be many things that I, I'm just like Tell I don't know why you staring at me. Yeah, I don't like I, I don't know, bro. Like it's, it's so many possibilities of why people are look like it. Ha- the same thing happened to me, bro. I'm in the alley in Cicero, and um, and a fan. You know, one of them Astro vans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What's, what's that freaking uh, uh, the, the 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 freaking porno thing? That was where, where it all started with those Astro vans, man. Bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh the, bag bus, bag, right? <laughs> yeah, the uh, bag bros. Uh, <laughs> hey, don't ask me why I know. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but um, nah, that that happened to me, bro. Some dude pulled up. And he's like, he's like, he rolled down his window, and I'm I'm stuck because there's a car in front of me. Like, I'm and I'm I'm on the opposite. You know, facing the opposite side. I'm like, there's no way out of this. This man <laughs> pulled up next to me. And he rolled down the window. I'm unarmed. And I'm like, uh, and then he's like, he's like, and he's with, he's, it's a car full of Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? And um, he rolled down his window. He's like, you Juno? And I'm like, oh, Oh, shit. I, said say, I said the same. I said I said the same thing. You said I guess this is it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is how I go out. You know, and I'm like, yeah, I'm Can like, I live stream this. For yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let me get some views on this at least. Right, I'm like, man, I guess this is it. And he was just like, man, I fuck with your music, bro. You dope. <laughs> and I'm like, woo, man, I'm a, I'm a, bro. Fuck, you know dude. what's fucked, bro? This, I was this, sweating and shit. Yeah, I'm like, oof, fuck shit, yeah, man. Chicago's fucking nuts right yeah, now, man. bro. Yeah, like, like all fuck. these kids fucking jacking cars and pinning people in to fucking steal their shit. That's fucking crazy, man. Like I literally have not like when I so I park in the I park in the yeah. garage, right? Like I'm not worried about it, but like I saw videos of people. What they're doing is like they'll they'll drive up next to a car, pin it in so they can't move anything, and then they go out and rob the person, right? Yeah, yeah. they're doing the same thing with garages. So they'll they'll park in front of the garage. They'll see somebody driving, opening a garage. They'll park in front of the garage, run into the garage, stick you up, and then leave. Mm-hmm. Bro, I've never been more vigilant in my life. Mm. Like, I will drive. If I see, but I literally, I swear to you, John. They ain't trying to steal your piece of shit. And nobody's stealing cars, bro. It's about getting robbed, bro. Oh. I don't care about the car, bro. You, first of all, my car, my car has the greatest fucking security system ever. It's a fucking stick shift. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to die if somebody tries to steal my car. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to look at the yeah. stick shift and be like, what the fuck, yeah, bro? I mean, like, I. You I, deserve I, to die, motherfucker, for driving an auto. I mean, a fucking manual. I mean, yeah, that that's you just man out here. You just gotta be careful, man. Like for real, bro. But we shouldn't it, have it, to, bro. That's yeah. what's fucked I mean, up. About I mean, this, I, I can't. Well, I can't, I'm already used. I to can't it. sit here and like. I mean, I had I had my face where where I I used to do that type of shit. So, and it was just and it was like I just didn't know any. I really didn't know any better, bro. I was just out there just for the adrenaline, just doing dumb shit, you know. And and uh, I look back now and I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? I could have, I could have been. 
locked up for a long time just just off of some goofy shit, you know what I'm saying, just being a kid. But um I just, you know, don't, I just don't know what's yeah. wrong with kids nowadays. Bro. Yeah. Like I understand some of the shit they like I get it, right? You're a kid, mm. you do stupid shit. I get yeah. it, right? But bro, some of this shit's crazy. Like I saw one on 49th and the Dan Ryan mm-hmm. where like this they, I guess they carjacked this BMW whatever. They get caught in traffic, police CPD pulls up, the state police pulled up. There's one stupid ass cop that's literally on the hood, right? Aiming his gun and then the kid takes off and the guy goes flying. Oh, of course. Or whatever. Um, but bro, like, what are you, what are you kids doing? Like, I don't understand what the con, like the whole thing no, about the yeah, Kias not, and the yeah, fucking it's, it's Hondas are stealing well, Hondas and Kias. Why don't you start going to schools and use your celebrity to start talking to, to the youth and tell them that they're fucking that ruining successful. their lives and shit. <laughs> I'm not that successful, <laughs> bro. Um, I'm a nobody. Um, they don't know that. That's true. Okay. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know what the mentality is, bro. Like, there's there's no win there, right? What are you winning? What is it? I mean, you steal a catalytic converter, you get a couple hundred bucks. Okay, bro. It, you look, get caught man. with it, you're gonna go to jail. <laughs> look, bro. Like, I I fucking <laughs> I remember I left the the headphones, the hundred dollar headphones in my front seat. Right? Shit gone. No, not only was it gone, but they threw a boulder about this big. No cap. No, I'm like <laughs> this big to take my headphones. I'm like, these are a hundred dollars, bro. Not even, you just now I gotta pay like three hundred dollars for my wings. Like, window. yeah, bro. I'm like, it's I'm like, stop. I'm like, bro. I would have just opened and it for at you. At least, hopefully, the motherfucker messed up his back for the rest of his yeah, life. No, nah, man, it definitely was a crackhead for sure. And I, I don't even uh, know what like the solution is, right? Like, like I saw one. I saw a, a carjacking. <clears throat> somebody caught it on security camera. And then I remember reading the comments and people were like, see, that's why you got to carry a gun. That's why you got to carry a gun. And I'm like, look, I think the only time a gun helps you. And you, you're in, you guys, mm-hmm. you were in the military. You were. <laughs> <laughs> For a week. I, I guess, I guess you signed the paper that said the army. On yeah. It. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe I may be wrong. You, you guys have more experience with firearms than I am. I don't think a gun is necessarily effective if you don't have the advantage, right? So in a situation, let's say you're going to get carjacked, right? You don't know it's coming, even if you have it, right? Even if you're a concealed carry, there's rules to that shit, right? Yeah. You're supposed to have a safety, blah, 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 whatever. If you are caught by surprise with someone with a gun, what does the gun do for you at that point? So I'll give you an, I'll give you an example. So the, the lady got caught, got pinned in, yeah. right? There was a passenger and a driver. Three kids come out of the car with guns. They rob them. They take off. And people are like, you should have had a gun. I'm like, you know what? If they would have had a gun and they would have pulled out a gun, more people would die. That passenger and that driver probably would have been dead. Yeah. And one of those shooters probably would have been dead. So you would have had three dead because you had a gun. It, I, mean, no I mean, it all depends on the scenarios. I mean, it, the guns definitely save. Like I've I've seen Agreed. I've seen a, a definitely transformations of people. Like um, I like I had matter of fact, I think it was this summer. Um, some some dude we're leaving the club. Me and my cousin, and some dude just runs up to us, fucking, what's up? You know, I'm talking shit. And um, he gets closer and closer to us. <clears throat> and I'm like, you know, we pull it out on him. His whole fucking demeanor. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, <laughs> man, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my friend. You, you know, wanna, we're what? friends, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to autograph, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so like, it it's all depends on the scenario. You know, what if he had a gun? You know, so yeah. that could have definitely sa- that save save. It, it's almost I I I understand if if it's like I I've heard stories of like, oh the innocent the the bystander had a concealed carry he saved someone's life. That's different because if if let's say I'm robbing you right at gunpoint mm-hmm. and John's over there and John has a concealed carry, he has the tactical advantage because I'm not looking at him, mm-hmm. right? Even if you have a gun, if yeah, I, I have a gun it. at you, where's the who has the advantage? Me or you? I do because yeah, I have the gun for out. Sure, for sure. By the time you pull it out or for whatever, sure. you're done. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's over it all depends on scenario. Like, Even in like, house robberies, like everyone because, says, oh, I got I got guns in the house. Okay, that that doesn't necessarily mean anything because by the time you, I break into your house and I get to your bedroom, you got enough time to load your guns. 
You got enough time to pull it out the yeah. safe? Because you you could also there's scenarios, you know? Yeah, like because like, you could you could like rob me, right? Let's say let's say you rob me, right? And and two. And uh, and you don't even know I have a gun in my trunk. And you and you're like, yeah, bitch. Yeah. And I run in my trunk. So it all depends on sure. like, yeah, sure, sure, it, sure. All, it all depends. I just always know? I always hate when people say, well, the gun is the answer. I'm like, a gun is not always the answer. No, but and it, plus, it just I, helps. I think we live in a world that I feel like, like I, I don't feel like I should have to carry a fucking gun. Yeah. I shouldn't I mean, have to. Yeah. You don't I know have it's, to. I, I know you don't. Know. Unfortunately, in the city, I feel like I should. I really yeah. feel like Fuck I should. No, you, don't, you don't have to. I mean, if, if, you're, if you stay out, the, well, for the most part, if you stay out the way or you, look, when it's your time, it's your time. Of course. But if, if, you, if you stay out the way, man, you don't you don't fucking have to carry a gun. Like if you know That's where true. to go, where not to go, what time not to be at certain places and shit like that, you know, you'll be fine. This guy's trying to get chicken wings from Inglewood fucking <laughs> at two o'clock in the morning. You're fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nut job. Fuck that. And I'm more worried about I was telling with uh with Mina. Mina works in fucking like two minutes away from Inglewood. Mm. I told oh, her she yeah. needs to stop going over. She needs to transfer out of that fucking hospital. She's all right, man. Yeah, okay. no, that area's bad, bro. She works in the U of uh, not U of I, the University of Chicago, like the medical center mm-hmm. out there. Literally, it's, it, I don't even know what. That's like nighttime. She's good. She's fucking what? You work, bro. She has to walk she, like ten minutes to her car. It'll run. <laughs> <laughs> right, part. Oh, that's funny. Um, all right, man. I, I think we're gonna we're gonna wind it down. Uh, where can people find you, bro? Just in case they want to reach out to you. Um. You can follow me at the Lost Cause T H E L O S T K A U S E. Uh, you got any music coming out soon? Or yeah, I just dropped an album. I just dropped an album. Uh, it's called The Story of Romeo. Obviously, um, the name is inspired from, you know, people always being like, "Oh, you're a lover boy," and you know, all this, you know, you know, Romeo died for love, and um. I feel like I can relate, you know. I've died and came back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I dropped the album. I, I got. I just dropped the video with um, my homegirl, Lovely Bay. I got. I actually got a bachata. I'm gonna drop, which is um, switching it it's, up. It's ah, this guy's uh, but, but um, but um, I have I have a lot of videos dropping this uh this year. And so many big moves that are coming. I'm excited about it. Like, it's finally, it's finally, my, my time is finally here, bro. You know, all the, all the waiting and all the hard work is finally, um, it's finally showing out for me. You know, God has, <laughs> God has a way of working, you know? Right on. Right on, right on. Um, you going to keep up with your acting stuff too? Definitely, man. You know, if, you know. You have any any advice or places I can go to to submit whatever I gotta do? Yeah, and man, and you know, thing is, bro, my, yeah. my, the the best the best place that I went to for classes only does online stuff, and I'm not a fan. Yeah, I don't like online. I'm shit. Not, I'm not I, I did that shit for college, and I, I fucking failed every class. So <sighs> it's I'm just not, not the same, man. Yeah. Like it's you can't act with someone. Through yeah. a screen, it's hard. It's not yeah. the same thing, no, you know. It's no, it's not definitely you, not. That's a in person thing. So like, I mean, there's other places you can go. Um, there's one that I would never tell you to go there, but sure. Um, no, but we'll talk. Um, I, I'll give you. Uh, I'll let you know some places that I've gone mm-hmm. to. Um, you have a good time, man. Absolutely, man. I appreciate you guys having me. You know what I'm saying? No, no problem. So it's, it's always a vibe. Um, and I can't wait, man. I can't wait, bro. To just, just make sure you when when you become famous and you're good and all that. Don't forget that well, you can. Well, technically, I'm gonna call you. you this can be is a guest. this is one of my first podcasts. One of them. Okay, I'm not going. You know what I'm saying? You. Uh, yeah, we I talked got earlier, you, I got you. but it's one of my first podcasts. So I'm, I'm you know. Um, when you have to come in here with your security team and yeah, all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have an unsigned contract. Yeah. When you come in. <laughs> Automatically, when you become famous, famous you got you, you have, have to, to come. come back. That's why we have yeah. a signature board yeah. out there, just so we can keep tallying right, cool. everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, man. I, I appreciate you coming down, bro. Um, I know it's been a while since we talked about this. Hell yeah, man. Um, but it was awesome, Jonathan. You got anything else, buddy? Uh, I'm hoping for big things for us too. We got a sponsor finally. 
Yeah, we got a sponsor. It's gonna Fire. be so. It's gonna be in the beginning of this show. Okay. Hopefully, <laughs> we gotta All film right. it. Um, get on yeah. that shit already, man. I'm I'm trying, man. I'm trying. I have a lot of stuff on my plate, bro. I'm just saying. I mean, you can help, you John. Just, you just had a week off. What you are you can, talking about? I've been editing all fucking week. Who's your sponsor, man? Uh, it's a buddy of mine. He owns a, uh, he's a Real realtor. Estate? Fella dope. So he, he wanted to sponsor us to uh, put his brand out there. So I was more than happy to help Hell him. Yeah, yeah. Fire. He's fire. happy to help us. So fire. we're good with that. Um, but yeah, bro, I've been editing all day. If you want to do something, John, besides walking down here on Friday nights, nah, you know, I'm not stumbling good down here. Um, I'd appreciate that. Um, anyways, again, I appreciate you coming by, uh, John, I'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and you, you want to come back sometime? Yeah. You're rich and definitely, famous. And definitely, you can, man. Uh, definitely. I'll definitely slide back. <laughs> all right. Definitely slide all back. Right, that's a, that's a tip jar too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Be cool, man. All right. That's going to be our show for tonight. Like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, everything we said is in our opinion. And if you don't agree with it, bite me.